It's week seven of our Battle of the Acronyms. Let's get a quick comparison of where our two sets of plants are at. As you can see, the HID4 are continuing to romp away with it. They won the flower challenge last week and are dominating on height as well. Now all of our plants are flowering, we're checking the electrical conductivity of both of our solutions. EC is the European standard measurement for nutrient strength in a solution. Both the HID and the LED4 are a bit high at 2.2. To lower this, we're going to dilute the solution with water. Unless the pH of your water is 7, this will adversely affect the pH of the overall solution. We're going to knock this down with 1.5 millilitres of pH down. And as you can see, the LEDs are at pH 6.2 and the HIDs are at 6.3. And now checking the EC of the nutrient tank as well, both sets of four plants are at 1.6, right where we want them during flowering. But we will want the EC to rise when our flowers become fruit, so it's very important to stay on top of your EC measurements. All of our LED4 are now flowering, with a total of 10 blooms across the four plants. This is where the HID4 were last week. This week, the HID4 have a total of 22 flowers, compared with last week's 10, and many more buds. The HID4 are practically a full week in front, and getting so tall, I'm going to need a wider lens soon. And over to the money, our 150 watt HID lamp has used 16 pounds and 93 pence to run for 32 days, and the 140 watt LED has cost 12 pounds 49 for the same 32 days. The ratio between the two different light sources has remained stable. So please subscribe. Come back and check out next week and let's see where we've got to.